Hey everybody, welcome back to Dredge and the final phase of the game. Ooh. Or so, um, so the collector said. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to do it. Let's see what happens. Maybe once we're done the final phase of the game, we can go back and do some of the, un or the uh, uncompleted stuff. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I'm ready, man. Let's let's go. I'm ready. The final phase. For the final phase of the game, we are still drinking our foghorn. It is gin, lime juice, and ginger beer. Cheers. So no more saving. <laughs> My progress will not be saved. Sure. I'm fine with it. What what are what's gonna happen? The destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow. We must not tarry on the open waters. Well, I'm glad I bought the bigger light. Ugh. Undock. Really, man, you waited until one in the morning to do this? Also, why am I so zoomed in? Okay, so we need to go... Oh my god. What is happening? I'm assuming that's where we're going. Woo! That was close. This dude's in my boat? No, he's not. Oh, I never got to use my 330% fishing increase. Time is not advancing. It's still 102. Oh, I got chills. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Dare I inspect it? This is the place. This is where she was taken from us. And where we can at last bring her back. Only here. Only because of what we've achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one frozen in time. Was this after his like old girlfriend or something? And tethered by chains in the deep. Bind them to this world once more. Is it Thulu? Are you summoning Thulu? I mean, I'm on board with that. Open the door to the starry heavens. And lay the weary world to rest. Don't you cry no more. <laughs> oh, the animated the music box going to the water. Oh no, my light. No. Oh, it's this lady friend. Hey, I just wanted this, this lady friend back. It's getting mighty rough out here, though. Oh, no. Oh. It is Thulu. But on the plus side, he got his lady friend back. <laughs> Oh no, Greater Mirror on the Lighthouse. Cool. Well, I guess that was Dredge four minutes into this episode. Um Yeah, thanks for watching everyone. That was Dredge. I uh I really liked it. I liked um I liked the mini games, I liked the art style, I liked the creepiness of it. Um there's definitely a lot of stuff we missed. Um, I wasn't, like, trying to speedrun it or anything, but there's definitely things we missed. So, I don't know, maybe I'll, I might come back and try to do some of the, uh, the things we didn't get to. But, uh, I probably won't do that on screen. Department of Conservation, New Zealand Bird Songs and Calls, eh? Oh, fun. Yeah, I probably won't do that on screen. I might just do that on my own accord just to see, see what there is, because, yeah, it was fun. And, um... 
I think it was the right amount of time, too. I think it was the right size game. We got... How many hours is this? One, two, three, six... Eight hours of gameplay? That's, that's pretty good. I mean, I think if it went much longer, it would have got a little... Samey, but... Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. And there's still things left to do if I want to play again, so that, that's pretty cool. So yeah, Dredge, highly recommended. Here's the credits. Uh, I guess we could skip it and see what happens when I skip. Or does this go back to the title screen, or what's going to happen? Title screen, okay. If I continue... Oh, okay, cool. So, there you go. That's also a nice feature. I don't have to start a brand new game to do the things I missed. I can just start from here. Cool. Good to know. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that right now, though. Why well, don't... We got 10 minutes left in this episode. No, sorry. We got 25 minutes left in this episode. Maybe we'll head back over to the uh, Devil's Spine and see if we can't uh, find the rest of those stone tablets. I feel like that's the location where I left most the most things incomplete, so let's go do that. Take me away. Let's go find some stone tablets. Perfect. Off to an absolutely amazing start. I also know there's things that I haven't seen in the game yet. I know there's a lot of other creepy things out in the water here that I didn't get the uh, the luck of experiencing, let's say. I was playing pretty cautiously though. I didn't notice any um, like skill setting, so I wonder if you could pick like a harder mode where maybe it gets darker quicker or something. Or like, not darker quicker, but like your insanity goes up quicker. Just made the game a little more complex would be kind of cool. Or maybe have like less docks available. I don't know. I don't know what could be done. I'm not saying that it was too easy, it was just... I feel like we didn't really see what happens when we go totally insane. Which I suppose I could do now, but... Let's see if we can figure out the stone tablet first. I need you to fix my boat, please. So we're looking for the glowy. The big orange glowies. I'm assuming we need two more. There's one in there. Okay. Let's get away from this fish. So we'll need to get two more of these, and I'm assuming I go back to Little Marrow, and maybe the uh, that dude will put them together for us, and we can go light the light. Oh, I wonder if lighting the lighthouse and then finishing the game does a thing. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna do that. So if we haven't finished that by the end of this episode we're gonna do we will keep going i want to see what, what happens if we light the lighthouse and then go finish the game if it's a different ending what we got here something gross oh something new cuskiel hey get out of here 
And there's still a gross Cuskiel here. Can I have the gross one? Thank you. Okay. Step one, buy dynamite. Thank you. Step two, go to storage and put this in it. And all my crab pots, because I'm pretty dumb with the crab pots. So one more glowy orange thing we need to find. So we can buy another dynamite in here. Yes, we can. I'll take that too. What are we researching? I don't even know all oh, the crab pots still. Swell. Okay, let me out. So it's gotta be in here. This is the only other spot we haven't really been to is back in here. I thought that was it over there. I can't really tell if it is or not. I don't think it is. Not in there. Really? Really? All the ones in here. Right? Hmm. Big one out here. Well, this seems kind of promising. In here? Yeah, I found you. Sweet. Okay. So let's take this to Little Marrow. Maybe this guy can assemble this tablet for us. And yeah, maybe that's the answer. Maybe lighting this lighthouse prevents Thulu from coming back. Because it said something about... Oh. I thought I lost one of those parts. It said something about keeping... um the monsters from the deep from arriving or something, so it'll be interesting to see what that is. And I'm assuming all these bottles we're getting are the collector's girl that he's after. Those are messages to him. Yesterday he was reading of his mother's will. Most of the remaining estate went directly to him. Yep. Yeah. Pocket watch. Totally. That's cool. Search for relics. 
Oh, don't you worry about that. Buy more tablets. I should bring them to him when I find them. So he said he had one, and I have found three. So that should be correct. <laughs> should be. Okay, let me out. Get to Little Marrow as fast as possible. Oh, there's still that treasure map too. I need to figure out what that map is. I think we're missing. We're missing at least one part of it. Maybe, maybe even two. Have I? Have I done this? I've done this, right? Oh, I have not done this. <laughs> That's another zombie. You look terrible. Are you okay? Oh, I bet I do. I certainly felt better. I've been chewing on seaweed and starfish. Ew. I thought my crew would have come to find me by now. Did the boys said you looking for me? They sure did. Give me a little marrow. Well, that is very convenient because that is exactly where I'm going. It's all coming together. I've not got much on me, as you can imagine. I'm feeling this isn't worth much anymore for me, at least. But perhaps it's worth something to you. Is it a research part? Signet ring. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. What does this do? Is that is that really all it is? Let's hold on to it. Part of the same set, you don't say. One more to find, yeah, perfect. Eerie light. Hmm, yes, go on. When the sky mistakes the stars and the air grows thick with night, the deep will open its scars, protect us, O guiding light. I only know of one guiding light, but these tablets predate... Oh, I said predate. <laughs> it's different. Different word. Predate the lighthouse of Greater Marrow by centuries. If I want to fuse together now, why don't you take them? This should open the lock somewhere, but where? Ooh, I wonder where that could be. No, I don't. Stop talking to me. I'm done with you. You're not getting my sweet ring. I should fix my bow, but I'm not going to. Said we are going to hightail it back to the lighthouse. We've got 12 minutes left in this episode. I want to see what happens when I do this. Oh my. Oh. I wanted to see how much faster fishing was with that thing, but it's broken. Because somebody hit a rock. It's getting rough. Let's see if we can get some air off these waves. Mm, I don't think so. And big air! Nope. I still haven't seen the volcano erupt either. That'd be kind of cool. What are you? Oh, you're just a ghost shark. Not interested. Oh, I gotta figure out what these rocks do, too. What do you do? Does not respond. Yeah, I don't know what to do with those stones. Like I said, there's a lot I haven't figured out in this game. Ancient lighthouse. Uh, I think this goes right here. 
Step inside. Flame of the sky. Oh, that's a light. Oh, I can't. So I can't actually light this lighthouse light, eh? Through the top has collapsed. This is as far as you're gonna get. Oh, a great beacon of light is shown, repelling a tentacled figure emerging from the sea. Well, we saw the tentacled figure, but I don't know what this beam of light. Monster shapes of our people. Hmm. Interesting. So what are these beams of light? The only other thing I can think of is it looks like each island has these stones, but then also the thing where you put all the fish into like an altar. And then stuff happens. So maybe. Maybe what I need to do. Is go back to. Um, Greater Marrow Island. Where I did put all the fish in that altar. And see what happens. These guys are everywhere too. Deliver the vessel. The Cuskiel, okay. I mean, it's only 9 o'clock and they come out at night. So maybe? <laughs> well, last time I tried to deliver a fish, the dude died on me. So anyhow, yeah, since I put all the fish into that altar, I'm wondering if maybe now the stones on that island will respond to me. So let's go find out, perhaps. There's also all those, like, crab monsters, too, and figured out what they do. Yeah, these things. So I put all the fish in here. So maybe the stone pile on this island will respond to me now. Does not respond. What the crap? Okay. In that case, let's go get a Cuskiel for this dude in the red robe. Hopefully he doesn't die before we get there. I don't die before we get there. He was over there. So let's go over here. And the Cuskills were near this island. With the flames. Maybe this red robed figure will tell me about these lights we need to defeat. Tentacle monster. There's a Cuskill. Good job. Cusky, you'll get. Let's sleep. And tomorrow we'll head over there. And hopefully, dude won't be dead.
Where'd he go? There he is. That sounds like a New Zealand bird. You didn't die. <sighs> Oceanic selfish, eh? You're an awfully, uh, asking a lot here. I don't even know where to find an oceanic sailfish. What's out here? Are you oceanic sailfish? You do not look like oceanic sailfish. What are you? Have I seen these before? Blackfin tuna? No, I haven't. Cool. Have you seen any selfish around there, Mr. Tuna? Not a selfish. Not a selfish. Hmm. Well, we know for sure there's one in the vicinity of the Marrow Islands. As we saw it on our last trip over here. I just don't remember where it was. We saw it with a castaway, didn't we? When we were carrying the castaway back? Was it up here? Nope. Yes, perfect. It's five o'clock. Let's go camp at Gray Point. Or whatever it's called. This place. And tomorrow we'll head back and give this guy a selfish and hopefully he'll be happy. Although, chances are he's going to send me for another fish, but we'll see. What have we got? A minute left in this episode. And this guy, like, explains where the, uh, this magical food feeding light comes from. Maybe we'll continue, but if he doesn't, then I'm probably going to call it. Frilled shark. Let's do it. We're going for it. Um, frilled sharks. I've seen them before. Yeah, where were you? Raw day and night double spawn. Okay, so there's the, the eel looking job. So looking for eels. That's not you, you're the ghost shark. Oh, no, you are the filled shark. You look very different. Oh, we'll give him a nice trophy filled shark. Hell yeah. Buddy, have I got a heart for you?
take a book. Throw it in the sand at my feet. Oh, did this give me a book? I mean, thanks. <laughs> okay, well, I think that is going to do it for this episode and probably for this playthrough. Um, I have literally zero idea how to get these lights that that tablet talks about to defeat Thulu, so... I think this is a good spot to call it. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and this game. It is a really great game, as I said a couple times now. I highly recommend it if you haven't played it. Maybe you can figure out how to get these lights and defeat this tentacle monster. Damn, tentacle monsters ruining everyone's day. Anyhow, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot, and we will see you next time. Cheers.